So here in Texas in July, it's going to be 110 degrees. When it's that hot outside, the last thing I want to do is soak in 104 degree water in my hot tub. So this video is all about finding solutions for you to be able to lower the temperature of the water in your hot tub during a beastly summer. Let's get into it. Now, I know some of you, especially those of you new to owning hot tubs, you're probably thinking, but Jeff, I can just lower the temperature on my panel here. I don't need any fancy tricks to get my hot tub temperature lower. And if you live in Minnesota during the winter time, or if you're in Alaska during the summer, that's probably true. But here in Texas in July, I can set this thing as low as I want to. It's not going to really result in lower water temperatures. I set my hot tub to 98 all the time. That's because I've got young kids and I don't want them soaking in 104 degree water. But in July in Texas, when it's 110 degrees outside, I can set this thing to 98 and I'm lucky if it hits 102. But we're going to get into some ninja tricks a little bit later in the video of how you can change the programming of your hot tub to actually make a big difference in the water temperature. And that's a great thing to do when it's sweltering outside. You'd like to be able to get in some relatively cooler water. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. So one thing I want to mention before we get into the programming of your hot tub that you can do to help relieve some of the heat that's trapped in your hot tub's water is leave the hot tub cover off. When we're talking about how to heat up a hot tub faster, you definitely want to leave your hot tub cover on. But in this case, it's totally fine to leave your hot tub cover off. Also, the more often that your jets are on and your water features, the more the water is going to be circulating and releasing some of that heat into the air. So if you're trying to drop the temperature of your hot tub water, definitely open your cover, turn your water features on and let it go. That will help. So the next thing I want to mention before we get into actually how to program your hot tub to be a really low temperature in the sweltering summer is how long it's safe to soak. After all, when it's 110 degrees outside, if your hot tub water is 104, you don't want to be soaking really for more than 10 minutes or so. But under normal weather circumstances, and Texas is not normal in almost every sense of the way, but 104, you want to soak for a maximum of 15 minutes. 102, maybe 20 minutes. 100, maybe 25 minutes. I like mine at 98, and I can soak for about 30 minutes at that temperature and still be safe. What do I mean by safe? Well, hot tubs can lead to dehydration. And dehydration, obviously, is when you're not drinking enough water. And the hot tub's not causing that problem. You're just not drinking enough water. But it is causing you to sweat excessively. And when you sweat excessively and, and you're dehydrated to begin with, that's a dangerous combination, especially if you happen to have been consuming any alcohol, which is not totally uncommon in hot tubs. So. Let's look at the symptoms of dehydration next. So some of the symptoms to be on the lookout for dehydration include excessive sweating, um, but also even fever, uh, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. Those can all be symptoms of severe dehydration. And even though I said excessive sweating, the complete lack of sweat can also be a symptom of severe dehydration. You want to take that seriously. If you're in the hot tub when you begin to feel any of those symptoms, absolutely get out of the hot tub safely and ideally with the help of someone else. Don't just pound a bunch of cold water. If it's super hot outside and you've been soaking in super hot water, that can actually kind of shock your system. Drink room temperature water and sip it slowly and try and slowly bring your body back to normal. Ideally in a seated position and with someone else's help and never be afraid to seek medical attention if there's any doubt of the condition that you're in. Okay and now for the moment you've been waiting for. What's this magical setting on your hot tub that can actually lower the water significantly when it's super hot outside? Well, most hot tubs have two different kinds of modes you can switch your hot tub to. Typically, your hot tub is going to operate in standard mode, and that's when the heater is kicking on periodically, the filter cycle is kicking on periodically, and they're just kind of going continuously, not 24-7, but the cycles are going continuously. Sleep mode and economy mode mode 
often will shut that cycle down to just very infrequently and the heater will only kick on when the filter cycle is happening and that might even just be once or twice a day and the fact that the heater is not on frequently allows the water temperature to drop significantly. Last summer, for example, when it was beastly hot outside, like I said, I live in Texas and in July it's 110. Last summer, before I changed anything in my hot tub, I had it set to 98 and I, I was lucky if it was 102 in the water. Most of the time it was way too hot to get in. I switched it to sleep mode and that dropped the water temperature down to about 94, 93 maybe. That was perfect. I don't necessarily want it to be cold water. I've got a swimming pool for that but I don't want it to be super hot either. So about, you know, in the high 80s to low 90s is probably possible by putting it into that mode, depending upon where you live and how hot it gets during the summer. And that's a great feature to have. I'm not going to get into exactly how to do that because that mode is going to be a little bit different for every make and model of hot tub out there. So you'll want to consult your owner's manuals, but I'm going to put a link to some of the ways to do that in the description based on different makes and models and, and what the most popular brands of hot tub are. I want to quickly point out that anytime you're causing your hot tub to lower and then raise up again in temperature, you are making it less energy efficient, meaning it's going to cost you a little bit more on your electric bill. I pay about 20 bucks a month on top of my normal electric usage just for the hot tub. That's not too bad considering how much use we get out of it. But if I'm making it less energy efficient by putting it in sleep mode or economy mode where the heater is kicking off for long periods and the temperature's dropping and then the heater kicks on for a minute or two and it raises back up again and it's going back and forth like that, that is making it less energy efficient. It will cost a little bit more on your electric bill. Probably not more than 10 bucks more, but less energy efficient for sure. That's one of the main reasons that I tell people to never turn off your hot tub unless you're going to winterize it and go away for weeks or months on end. You don't want to just get in the habit of turning it off when you get out and then turning it back on every time you want to soak. That's incredibly energy inefficient and you have to wait for it to heat up every time. So don't do that but do be aware that sleep mode and economy mode will make it a little bit less energy efficient in that way. Once again, everyone, my name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com. I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up, smash that subscription button and the bell notification button. That way you get notified of future videos like this one. If you have an idea for something you'd like to see in a future video, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how I can make this channel better and more about what you're looking for. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.